this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here and today is going to be something a little bit different uh, than I normally do from my YouTube channel. If you follow me, you know that I do you know, cell phone reviews, other type of reviews, uh, videos, but I've never actually done anything as far as upgrading of a PC. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had this PC since 2009 and it's a PC that I've had again for almost 10 years and the fact is like I don't want to really waste money on buying another PC rather than ha being able to upgrade, you know? So like the old saying goes, if it's not broken, you know, don't fix it or something like that or whatever. Uh, so in PC terms, I guess if it's not broken, let's upgrade it, you know what I mean? So, you know, when I purchased this system, which is an e-machines, now uh, Acer basically, if you guys are not familiar with computers, uh, I think Acer either merged with e-machines or they bought it out, etc. like that. So, you know, again, I bought this e-machine computer back in 2009 at Walmart. I paid about $300 and at the time, you know, it got the job done for me. Uh, you know, I used it for web browsing. Uh, I spent a lot of hours watching YouTube videos on this computer, by the way. So if you can think one uh, thing that, about this computer, it's that it got me more interested in building a YouTube channel. So after I left for college, I left this computer here at my parents' house. Uh, they were using it for you know the past couple years, and finally I moved back home and I decided to you know do something with it here. So uh, while I was gone, I did have to replace the hard drive one time, uh, which was again one of these old school SATA drives that is just really old and outdated. Uh, so I you know the original hard drive broke down. I had replaced it with this, which is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I think I spent about like eighty dollars, maybe a little less on that. No, but again, you know, for the time being, that was maybe a few years ago already. It was just to get the computer going again. I didn't really think about uh, replacing it with anything like an SSD. SSD. Uh, so, which brings us here today. So, I've kind of already done a few things to this uh, PC, and I want to do a few other videos just to kind of, you know, have a small tutorial, but also a learning video for you guys, just in case you decide uh, you want to update your own PC as well. Uh, and again, you guys don't have to go and spend thousands and thousands of dollars for on upgrades you know a lot of the times older model PCs can actually be upgraded uh, for really cheap actually so so less than a hundred dollars maybe even even you know depending on what you guys have in the bank uh, and what you want to put into it so for now uh, today in this video I just want to kind of go over what I've done to this PC so far okay so again uh, so far all I've done is uh, add a SSD to this uh, actual computer. So again, that computer was running an old SATA drive. Uh, this is a 250 gig solid state drive by Western, Western Blue or WD Blue. I think it's Western Digital, but the brand is WD Blue. And I'm gonna post that in the link in, uh, in the description below. I think I paid about $60 for this uh, hard uh, solid state drive. So that was, again, not, not too big of a cost for me. Uh, again, another item that I did decided to upgrade with it was Windows 10 Professional. Now, I didn't pay for Windows 10. It was uh, it was a software or UI that was actually handed down to me from uh, a family member. So I decided to just not, you know, uh, to just upgrade it and leave Windows 7 behind. Windows 7 was again uh, 10 years ago. Uh, so we wanna make sure that, you know, I'm doing all of that correctly. So I basically got Windows 10 up and running. I updated all the drivers for this because you do have to update all the drivers necessary uh, that is compatible with this PC here. So I made sure I went to, I found the website, I updated the drivers, etc. Like that. So, so again, guys, uh, what I plan to do to this PC also is I, I do plan to to add uh, a new processor to this because the specs on this PC are as follows. Okay, so let me go over that really quick for you guys. Okay. So the specs on this PC originally uh, came with Windows 7 Home Premium, has an AMD Athlon processor, 2850E processor, which is a single core, that means it's really slow. Uh, it comes with an a internal NVIDIA GeForce 6150SE integrated uh, graphics card, a DVD multi-drive, which is an optical drive with DVD write, uh, that's able to write DVDs, a 320 gig, uh, internal hard drive which was one of those that you just saw and two gigs of DDR2 RAM. So I'm gonna go over a little more uh, you know in a few uh, next couple of videos 
One thing that I can tell you that I cannot upgrade on this PC is the RAM, uh, but I do plan to update the CPU, which is that little processing chip that makes the you know the, the PC run a little better. So I'm going to do that, guys. But again, uh, this is just a quick video on me updating this PC so far and what I've done to it. I do plan also on buying an internal video or in, in, an internal wireless LAN card so that I can access the internet. Right now, I just have a little USB a wireless card running, but it does not, not do what I want it to do. So again, guys, this is just a quick video on me updating this e-machine computer, and hopefully you guys keep an eye out on the other update videos on what I'm going to do. This is just part one, guys, but again, this is Mike B from Budget Tech Review signing off. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, you know the other thing, but again, please comment if you have any positive comments or constructive comments. You know, I want to see what you guys think think about updating something and I want you guys to know that you guys are able to do this as well. So again, this is Mike from Budget Tech Review signing off. We'll see you guys next time.